Hi and welcome back to SallyHughesBeauty.com. I'm still here on my shoot for Pretty Honest and the next shot is red lipstick which I'm most excited about because I love red lipstick so much and also because I have Mary Greenwell here working with us today um, to achieve the look so Mary's going to talk us through it now. So this is a build up throughout the day of Sally's makeup and the final riddle, the final shot is going to be about the red lips as Sally just said. So I'm leaving everything the same. She will, Sally will look very made up at the end of the day, won't you darling? Yes. But we don't care because now there is a balance of makeup. We can wear too much you know, of a good thing can lips. be wonderful. Yeah, there can be lip size brows, and you know, I mean, they can all be working together nowadays, so that's good. So, because I don't use a lip liner, I mean, sorry, because I, I don't use a lip brush, I'm just going to use a lip liner. I have wiped off the blonde, blonde lipstick that was there before, and I'm just going to literally go over Sally's lips. They are, I haven't put any, any, um balm on or any sort of um, anything to soften the mouth. I want it to be quite, for the moment, I'm going to see whether I need to. I don't think I do because Sally's lips are actually quite soft and sort of nice and plump. So there's no under product underneath. I'm just going to go straight with the lip liner and define her mouth. So I'm actually going to use Chanel for this, for this look. I'm taking the lip liner to the very outside of her lip line. As we would all agree, I think, you know, the bigger the mouth, the better for all of us. So to the very, very edge. Very slowly, I'm not hurrying. I'm going to do the same the other side. If I press too hard, I might actually go over the lip line too much or not understand the lip line myself because I'm pressing too hard to understand it. So I'm using very light feather touch touches. And then down the, down the bottom again, taking it to the outside. Seeing Sally has actually a perfect mouth, so there's nothing I have to change. Now, if you did want to change the shape of your lip a little bit, if you needed to fill it up one side or the other, this is the time to do it. When I've done this, I'll step away and see what needs to be done. Now, if you were just going out, you know, every day and you didn't, you don't have to use a lip liner. I just like to give it, it just gives me an outline of the mouth and also it means that the lip, lipstick itself will be softer but actually you can just use the lipstick straight from the tube which I'm going to do in a minute anyway. So you know I'm not saying you have to use a lip liner, um, just your lipstick is enough and as Sally and I were saying before, the shape of the lipstick becomes your own shape mm -hmm. so it becomes very easy to apply. So Sally and I have chosen a colour that we both love which is the Chanel colour. It's, by the way, it's number 98, but I've lost the top to it, so I've lost the correct top to it. And I don't squish my lip lipsticks down into a box, because then I would never even be able to tell you that much, right? Mm -hmm. So um, Nice to take it out with you afterwards, isn't it? It's so nice, and when, especially when I'm working with celebrities, I just give it You'd to them. You'd give it to them, exactly. You know, I spray them in one of my scents, and I give them the lipstick, and off they go, right? Mm -hmm. Put your lips together, do this. Once, do it again. Great. Now I'm going to I'm going to do the math. Now I want to ask you to do something when I've done this again, which um, apparently is very obvious, but not not everyone finds it obvious. I want you to rub your lips together. Mm -hmm. Okay, rub your lips together, back and forth. Do this. Good. Keep going. Keep going, back and forth, are they still too dry? Right, I'm gonna put some more on. Now this is a, such an interesting trick because this will get your lips to be the biggest they can be naturally. I love this trick. Yeah, so now I'm gonna put quite a lot on. Don't worry about how much I'm putting on, mm -hmm. okay? Now rub your lips together, go for it. Back and forth, really back and forth, that's great. As much as you can, okay, perfect. So, do this. Right, great. So in fact, Sally's lips were already kind of expanded to their fullest degree, if you like. Open my darling. Some people when they when they do that, they kind of they um they like that Sally's like mouth is so perfect and already it didn't so nothing changed. So you know we want the mouth to look real. We don't want any we don't want it to look like she hasn't closed. It wants to look sort of semi, a red mouth wants to look semi lived in. I think so. Right? Because it's hard when it's too perfect. Yeah. I remember one time as when I was working with Julianne Dees, 
And it's where I first started to wear red lipstick on myself and I'd done it so perfectly. And I came down to meet him in a restaurant and he literally got a tissue and wiped my mouth. <laughs> and said, Mes chérie, qu'est-ce que tu as fait? And he literally wiped the edges of my mouth. He couldn't bear it. And I was like, what do you mean? You didn't like my perfect red mouth? Went, well, I didn't like it either, but I've been practicing in the bathroom. And it was so interesting to see his response because he's such an artist. Mm. He just thought it was just ridiculous what I'd done. I knew it was too, by the way, but his reaction was very funny. How old were you then? Oh, I... The slip I of know, a thing. Was young. Well, young compared to how I am now. <laughs> it's all relative. Okay, that's gorgeous. Sally, you look so cute in that dress and the lips and everything. It's divine. Let me show you. I love red lips. They make me happy. Do they? Mmm. Lovely. Lovely colour. I love that you put lipstick on straight from the tube. Yeah. I just think it looks nicer. Yeah. It's much more natural. I was so scared when you said rub your lips together. I was so scared I was going to ruin your okay. work. So now, do it. Now look in the mirror and rub your lips together back and forth as much as you like. Do this. Really do this. Great, there you go. You see, you I was so scared about spoiling your work, but because of the way you've lined them. It seems to blend the lipstick together more. Do you want it? It just sort of does something interesting. I love yeah. it. Thank you. you so, should we so go and pretty. shoot it? Good. That's good. That's better. That's very good. So. Can I suggest something? I think we should get the hair off Sally's face on this side because the light is very it's not good right now. So if we just get Dali bugging about it and just sort of like Okay, let's let's do that again then. 